All right, it is 5.50 a.m. It's time to go antiquing in three hours time. Not right now, three hours. Three hours, season three. It's giving Pride and Prejudice. It's giving Mr. Darcy. I can't talk right now. I'm doing hot girl. Hey girl, where are you? And here is one of the reasons why we were here, guys. First ever vintage clothing barn. We're at Springfield, Ohio. It's their September extravaganza. They have a vintage clothing barn. Don't know if there's gonna be anything good in there, but I have cash this time. Mom is ready. ready. Mom's bestie is somewhere here. We're meeting her probably in goat barn number one. Let's go treasure hunting. Snug on me. Check the hair. Dude, yeah, it's not the right look for me. No. Uh -huh. How you feeling today? Are you going to Disney World? Well, I think we've been here for maybe barely an hour, and I'm already going back to the car. I've already spent a lot of money on stuff I wasn't planning on buying, but I'm very excited. The woman who's with us is mom's or mom's besties. She doesn't want to be on camera, so she's really cute, but her name's Judy. So you guys can just say hi, Judy, in the comments. She's really sweet. It is 3 p.m. and we are officially done. done. <laughs> the car is full of treasure, especially Treasure I was not looking for. Oh guys, wait till I show you guys what I got. It's whoa. Before we continue with the haul, Abby and Susan will be interrupting this programming to attend the Renaissance Fair for Pirate Weekend. But what will Abby wear? Will she be Jack Sparrow? Will she be a turkey leg? None of these seem to suit the vibe she desires. But steed from our flag means death. Indeed, that will suit our heroine. Off to shore Abby. Oh God. All right, so mom has a game that she's gonna play because it's Pirates Weekend here, and it's called Counting Jack Sparrows. How many sparrows? How many sparrows? She even has a clicker. Little counter. So we are, we're on the hunt. Or if I get not very many, I'll start counting black pearl shirts and anything okay. Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm personally gonna look for another uh, Our Flag Means Death person, personally. There we go, turkey legs. All right, we are back from a very exciting weekend of antiquing at Springfield Extravaganza and the Ohio Renaissance Fair, which made me feel many feelings. So let's just do a haul. I'm gonna make it really, really fast. I did not get as much stuff as I did at Urbana and Tri-State, but I did get really, really good stuff. The one minor problem uh, was that my plan was to actually buy stuff for my house. Small bits of furniture, tables, shelves, decorative objects. But instead, it was actually a really good antique clothing trip. So let's get into it. There were some booths that had some really, really, really great great pieces, like some things that I had to walk away from because I just couldn't spend that much money. But I am a girl who loves hats. And let me tell you, when I saw this hat, I was like, sold. It doesn't, I don't, I won't wear it anywhere. I don't care. Look at it. It's Britney, bitch. 
Hey, will I be wearing this on the cruise? N no, because I, I don't have anything to wear with it, but will I wear it around my house because I want to? Yes. So I got this. This is a umbrella. I have no idea how old it is, but it's in actually really, really good shape. But the handle is actually sterling silver and mother of pearl. Mm, I know, right? Mom and I were debating over what the monogram is. Um, I think there's a G and a B in there, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It's not even hooked with a snap. It's actually hooked with a button and then a metal loop, like so. I'm gonna open it inside because content, baby. So do you guys like look how, there's just like a couple of holes, like she is in, even with the stripes, like it kind of looks like it's intentional, like every, Every section has a stripe that's a very similar size. So honestly, it's just a vibe in my opinion. She looks amazing. She's in amazing condition. There is a name on here. It is William Beeler, B-E-E-H-L-E-R. I don't know if that's the maker or the gentleman who owned this very bougie umbrella. I am probably taking this thing to Scotland with me because even though like people don't really use umbrellas in Scotland because you just like exist and miss umbrellas as like fashion accessories though for like the 19 teens was like a thing. So it doubles as a walking stick. I just think it's really cool. My very first purchase was this pretty little cotton dress that is definitely like 1915, 1916, you know, just really pretty with the white work. I need to get this off my hands. I got her for 10 bucks. I mean, like when you walk in, you see her hanging and you're like, how much? And she's like, $10. You're like, yeah, sure. Here's my money. Take it. She had, is a great example of, you know, mid teen closures. She has all of her snappy snaps. As we've learned with the nonstop 19 teens construction, we love a good snappy snap. So she is like an extreme dog leg, I guess we could say. She actually has snaps that go around the bodice. So then the skirt is technically center back opening. Do you guys see how like full that is? It's amazing, it's beautiful. She's technically center front closing, kind of. So you, you step into her, you put her on like a jacket and then you would take the front and then you would just snap it up and run the center front and then you would take the skirt and then you would basically wrap that all the way around and then snap it up the back. And snap! So you probably would need some assistance to do this unless you're like super duper flexy, which you might be able to do flexy. But anyways, she's beautiful. Like I said, 10 bucks, couldn't say no. This is probably my favorite thing. I'm gonna have to do a quick costume change. Hello, I'm ready for my close up. Mr. Dinner. It's a cocoon coat. It is a teal slash turquoise slash light blue. It kind of just depends on the light. Velvet cocoon coat with lamb fur cuffs and collar. She is completely lined on the inside with a lightweight silk charmeuse. I uh, don't know, not charmeuse, beg your pardon. Just a lightweight china silk. Her pocket, interior pocket, is big enough for an iPhone 12 Pro Max, yes. Can you see? Do you see? Just look at this, she's just wow. amazing. She's, oh. I don't really have a third evening look, so I might just wear the, the coat and just say Fuck it. Here's what the lining looks like. It does have a label, it's B. Altman & Company. Um, B. Altman & Company was a New York uh, department store. They have a lovely little Wikipedia page. Let me read it to you. It was founded in 1865 in New York City by Benjamin Altman. It's the flagship store. It was on Fifth Avenue and 34th Street in Midtown Manhattan, operated from 1906 until they closed at the end of 1989. So being a cocoon coat like this, we're talking 1920s. Cocoon coats are really fashionable. It's not over the top. There is wadding in this and padding to help add a layer of warmth. And I just adore, I mean like, look at her, she's amazing. She's so cool. Another dress from the 19 teens. Oh guys, I had to pass, I, I might live to regret this one day, but I had to pass on this like maroon fuchsia velvet 1916 jacket that had the most insane silk lining in it. And she was in amazing condition with her fur collar and cuffs. They wanted like $400 for it and I had just bought, you know, I had already spent several hundred dollars with them, more than what I was planning on spending. I love it, it's beautiful, it's unique. I will probably regret not buying it, but I'm also just like, I kind of, like at this point, I understand 19 teens construction so well that I can kind of look and go, okay, bam, 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 done. It's gonna make someone very happy someday. 
He's shredding little, really bad. So if you see like little bits of silk on the table, it's actually from this dress. But she's gorgeous. She has a train. She's fairly simple and very elegant. She does have like beading down here. She's heavily beaded in the bodice, but it's that straight kind of like cut off bodice with the short sleeve and the big square neck. It's very simple and elegant. She's got weights in her hem. She has a really lovely like sash down the back to add a little bit of extra detail. Super simple and elegant. However, someone's done something to her, but they did a good job. So it's kind of weird. The lining is made out of a fake silk. This is like a polyester silk. It feels mid-century. It has just that weird plasticky feeling to it. So I started looking, even with all those weird feelings, let me be very, very clear. The construction of this is very typical for the 19 teens. It's a white silk lining, which is indicative of a higher end evening gown. We have hand stitching of the trim onto the lining. The lining has boning in it. it everything has been pinked and notched. Um, the bottom is finished. It has hooks and eyes. It has the drawstring around the neck, which is normal. Like everything about the construction of this dress is indicative of, of the time period. Circa 1911, PD246, her Stuvescent Shop, New York, 1944, Trafagan School. The Trafagan School of Fashion was an art and design school in operation from 1923 to 1991 and was located at 1680 Broadway in New York City. The school was founded and directed by Ethel Trafagan Lee with a focus on the foundational concepts of American design. With the 1940, 1944 date, uh, that tells me that the lining was replaced in 1944 and then with the circa 1911 that they thought this the original dress was probably 1911. I don't know if this was used in like a theatrical production somewhere. If this is 1911 and it's 1944, this dress would have only been 30 years old. So it would not have been considered an antique really in any capacity. They probably just pulled the pattern off the original. Maybe that's what they did and replaced it. Maybe there was some damage or wear and tear. There is a museum accession number on the other side and it's 1995.999.71. It doesn't say what museum it is. I don't know what the accession number is. This is a pretty standard museum accession number. It could have been from FIT, but it was clearly in a museum in the 90s, and it has obviously been deaccessioned, probably because of the how bad the silk gauze and organza is shredding and just falling apart as you look at it with the sleeves, but also maybe because they realized that this lining is an original, so they kind of disregarded the dress entirely. I got this purse mostly because all of my other vintage purses, I do not know where they are, and I wanted to have a nice black vintagey purse to carry with me on the cruise. So it has some nice uh, cut steel beading on it the early plastic handle and then it opens up like so you can see the lining here has shredded out entirely but it's still a good size and it seems to be in pretty good shape other than the lining falling apart and it will fit an iphone 12 pro max so i got it <laughs> i also got like a bunch of lace look at that she's just gorgeous but yeah you can see like there's holes in it there's wear and tear but i only paid like two bucks for it so why not right for the house I did actually buy stuff for the house. I bought two cheap, like 1980s shelves to go on the wall. They were three bucks a pop and one of them has uh, bird poop on it. I bought this very nice big old basket. It is definitely in the style of like 18th century. I do not know if it is actually 18th century or if it's a little bit newer. It's mooshed in a way that it clearly was held this way. Um, so I got this, you can see like it's not a perfect circle. Um, I got this just to put like blankets in and just kind of add more aesthetic to the house. I forgot to show you some of the other stuff I got. Can you see? This. I almost walked past this one. Ligotti's Ladies Book, July through December, 1867. Obviously the 1860s are not really my favorite time period, but you can't pass up a good Godies. Does have prints in it for fashion that are folded up. You know, we got some netting patterns, more prints. 
But she's complete. It's really pretty and very aesthetic. That is the haul. That is the trip. A nice, just kind of easy peasy, cozy wozy like uh, vlog for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like hanging out with me, I upload every other Sunday. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That does actually help the video get to other people who might like to watch it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, I'll see you all back here next time. Bye.